Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Franzanata and I'm here to introduce you to the Springboard Funding Award, one of the three funded opportunities under the Mental Health Research for All project. Before we get started, I'd like to invite you to pause the video for a moment, scan this QR code and complete this anonymous demographic form. It's really helpful for us to collect this data so that we can learn how to improve our inclusion practices. Thank you in advance. Mental Health Research for All is a funded project that sits within the ARC No Thames. The ARC No Thames is one of 15 ARCs across England and has been running since 2014, previously under the name of Clark. The ARC No Thames covers a broad region, covering from north central London to north east London, with parts of Luton, Bedfordshire, Hertfordshire, and Essex. So, mental health research. Mental Health Research for All is a three-year funded programme aiming at building capacity and capability for research in mental health. Each year we focus on a specific aim. During the first year, we really wanted to understand what are the barriers and facilitators to participate, engage in and lead research. During the current phase, BUILD, we are building on this knowledge to create opportunities for engagement and leadership in research. In a, in a sort of on, ongoing manner, we have been focusing on the aim for the third year, which is developing sustainability, identifying ways to create a community of practice for research within mental health. As part of our current focus, we are offering three different types of funded opportunities. In this video, I will be focusing on the Springboard Funding Award. I want to briefly mention the training, which is available for free to all members of the ARC North Thames and all um, colleagues in our region. And I also want to thank the advisory group that has been supporting the development and the shaping of these opportunities. Their work is central to what we're doing. The Springboard Funding Award is a scheme that offers researchers or teams of researchers the opportunity to apply for funds to disseminate or move forward or start a new exciting project in the field of mental health research. We are open to all kinds of research in the field of applied health. We um, cannot fund projects in dementia, and this is because the NIHR has dedicated a specific pot of money to dementia studies. The aim of the Springboard Award is to really support the advancement of mental health research in the North Thames region. And this is quite important and we'll come back to it later on in terms of your application. So what I want you to focus on for now is the idea of applied health, mental health, excluding dementia, and the geographical region on North Thames. What can be funded? Anything to do with your research is fundable. We can fund the salary cost of the applicant or the salary cost of a team member or recruitment of a new team member research expenditure, travel costs, and this can include also conference travel costs, venue hire, training, PPIE costs. If you are unsure of whether your budget contains elements that can be funded, please do get in touch with us and we'll be most happy to help you identifying whether it's eligible for funding. One point of notice, we really appreciate that the cap to £10,000 is quite limited. So we encourage you to be realistic with your application and to identify a program of activities that you can deliver within the time frame and within the money that we can offer. In terms of who can apply, anyone working in mental health or in professions adjacent or related to mental health are most welcome to apply. I'm going to tell you about the two funding streams that we've developed for this second round of the Springboard Award. Following discussions and feedback from our first round, we've decided to split this, this, the funding streams into emerging researchers and recognised or established researchers. This is a matter of self-identification, so we're asking you to consider where do you fit best. For emerging researchers, we're looking for colleagues who are seeking to launch an independent career in mental health research. So 
we're assuming that you wouldn't have had or a previous competitive research grant as first name investigator and uh, probably you have few publications or you might not have a publication or you might be a colleague from the voluntary sector who's interested in taking the lead on a project and is working with a team of established researchers. For the second stream, the established research stream, we are looking for colleagues that have a, a consistent publication background and uh, have held previously grants as first named investigators. So we're looking for colleagues with a specific kind of level of independence in taking their project forward. The application process contains three elements, a Word document application, your CV, and an online demographic form that you complete separately from the application and that is fully anonymous. Out of the different questions that we ask in the Word document application, I really want to draw your attention to the aims and to the engagement with patients and public. In terms of aims, we're really keen to understand or for you to tell us how your project is connecting research and practice, how your project is responding to a local need, how is your project addressing something that you've identified in collaboration with others or in your work in the clinical setting or in the work setting. We are really keen to have a clear focus, so don't overdo it, and to have clear outputs and deliverables that you can achieve within the time frame of the project. We're also very keen to hear about how you're going to be engaging patients and public in your research. We want to hear about the rationale for how you identify the ways in which your project serves uh, to assist the underserved communities in the North Thames region. And we want to understand how you're going to engage them in the process of developing and continuing and delivering your project. So really important that you think about these two elements. The selection process um, will start after the deadline, which is on the 19th of April. And uh, the applications, in order to um, engage with uh, our um, ethos of widening access and inclusion, will be stripped of all identifying elements. Once the uh, applications have been stripped of this, they'll be sent to the scientific panel, which includes members of our research advisory group, and uh, the panel will meet together. Uh, there will be a, a discussion uh, focusing on the um, different applications and looking at three elements in particular. The focus on underserved communities and conditions, as this is one of the objectives of our overall project. The facilitation of connection between research and practice and how well your project widens access to research and mental health in the North Thames region. So going back to the PPIE element that I was discussing in the previous slide. Um, I want to emphasise the fact that all projects that will be funded must terminate by the end of June 2024. And this is due to our reporting cycles and to the fact that in September 2024, we'll be hosting a symposium conference uh, showcasing all the amazing work that you have done as part of the Mental Health Research for All project. I'm going to leave you with a slide that is for you to think about generating ideas and, and developing your project proposal for the Springboard Funding Award. Um, we hope that many of you will apply um, and uh, please, by I hope many of you will apply and uh, please do grab your phone again and scan this QR code as it leads to subscribing to our newsletter uh, where you will hear about our funded opportunities but also the amazing uh, training and events uh, that the Arcno Thames uh, is uh, delivering and offering more broadly. Follow us on Twitter, check out our website and if you have any further questions please do not hesitate to drop me an email. Um, also if you want to have a one-to-one -one chat. I really look forward to reading your applications and to be working with you all. Thank you, bye.